I'm not going to ask Billy for help this time. Ah! Can you see it now? How about now? Hey, can you see it now? How about now? Dude, I cannot get TV reception anywhere. What do I need to do? Well, first of all, Derek, you need some aluminum foil to go on these ears to get you a little better reception. <laughs> right. Actually, I have what you need. Come on over here, let me show you what I got. <laughs> all right, man. Hey guys, welcome back to the Bob Hurley Outdoor Adventure Series. I'm Derek Searcy. And I'm Billy Taylor. And today we're gonna to talk about, I mean, Billy, obviously I couldn't get TV reception out there earlier. And as much as I love to camp and be outside, sometimes the weather just doesn't cooperate. So what do we do in that scenario if we can't get TV reception? How are these products gonna help us? So Derek, what these do, these are portable satellites, you know, um, similar to what we have at home, uh, but they're in a portable version. So we can set them out on the ground on tripods like you see here, hook them up to our coaches, turn on our Wally receivers or whatever receiver we may have in there and get these things up and running and bring the satellite like we have at home to the outdoors with us. Um, and DISH has done a real good job of doing that. They really have gone to the outdoor worlds a little more than everybody else has. But uh, we have several products here. We have the King Tailgater. Um, it'll run the wallet, the dish, uh, dish side of the network. Um, hook it up, go. Same thing here with the Playmaker as well. You just kind of hook it up and go. Um, turn it on, turn your wall receiver on. Within about 10, 15 minutes, you're up and running watching TV. Uh, do have to have a clear view of the southern sky. Without that clear view of the sky, you're not going to get satellite. I got you. So with that being said, how hard is it to set one of these up? Like, how do you make sure you're in the right direction and stuff like that? These are self-aiming, self-aligning. So all you're going to do, um, set them out on the tripod, hook your coax to it, hook it directly to the coach, turn your receiver on. It's going to ask you what state you're in. You're going to set that up and tell it to go. Once you tell it to go, it'll take it about 10 minutes. It'll spin around, find where it's at, figure out where the satellites are, and start downloading everything to your uh, TV like you have well, That's fantastic. I mean, that sounds like pretty easy setup. It is. They're not difficult at all. Um, uh, well, and what's great about it is, I mean, you know, as much as we like to be outside camping and stuff like that, obviously you and I know that camping's changed over the last several years, and it's not all, you're not always outside. I mean, right. so the cool pro the cool thing about these products is, you know, my kids don't get bored and they can they can still, you know. Occupy their time, absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you know, you have rainy days, you have evenings and late night stuff like that. It makes real good for watching TV. Now you said that these two these two are portable, but you, is, do we have a third one here that's more yeah. for motorhomes? So yeah, this one here is gonna be more for your motorhomes. It's what we call an in-motion satellite. So it's for those motorhome folks that like to watch TV, let the kids watch TV while you're running down the road. Obviously the driver can't do it. He'll get a little distracted and won't like the results <laughs> of that. But let the kids and the wife watch TV running down the road. It will track in motion. Well, that's fantastic. Yep. Well, guys, I hope this was super informative for you guys because I know it was for me. So please like, comment, and share, and we'll check you out next time. <laughs> Lord, How does this thing me. work? What is he out there doing? Oh my gosh.